Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com and I want to do a short video here talking about alternatives to needing to have one of these, a heating pad, right? So many people who discuss starting transplants and getting them to germinate and getting them to grow recommend using heating pads like this where you, you stick it underneath the transplant tray, you plug it in and uh, it warms up the soil sort of tricks the seed into thinking it's somewhere or that you know it's middle of spring and the sun's shining and it's nice and warm and it gets uh, the seeds closer to their optimal germination temperatures it gets everything going um, from everything i've read and even discussions i've had with uh, experts on my podcast the recommendation for the heating pad is to only have it underneath the transplant tray until you see the seedlings pop up through the soil as soon as you see the pop, the seedlings pop up through the soil and start reaching for the sun, you're supposed to remove the heating pad because the rate of growth of the plant will not be prop. This is my understanding of it. The rate of growth of the plant will not be properly matched to the amount of sunlight that's available while it's growing. Right? You've got a plant and it's responding to two things when it's growing. It's responding to the available sunlight. Right now it's not that sunny. There's lots of clouds, so there's some sun, but it's um, not much at all. Like, you know, if you if you had a, um, a solar charger, you know, you know they, some of them have how many bars of sun energy it's receiving. Um, it would not be full bar. It would be like half, half, <laughs> half bar solar charger right now because there just isn't full sun. Um, anyway. Plant is responding to the amount of sunlight it's getting because that's the energy source. It's also responding to how warm the soil is, right? Because it responds to those things. The soil is warm, the plant thinks, oh, it must be nice and sunny outside. And then on a day like today where there's no sun, the plant responds to there being not enough sun by putting its energy in, instead of putting on leaves, the plant is responding to the heat in the soil and the lack of sunlight by growing taller and becoming spindler. It needs, basically, it's not thinking, plants don't think, but the plants, <laughs> I'm just using this metaphorically speaking, the soil's warm, so it must be sunny. I'm not getting enough sun, so I need to be taller to get above whatever is casting shade on my leaves, because I need that sun. That's my food, that's my energy, right? So it's good advice to remove the heating pad uh, as soon as the plants start to put on foliage. But at the same time, when the sun is on your plants, you want that soil nice and warm. So a solution I've got here, let me just remove this tray, is you have something like this. This is just some old styrofoam from an Amazon package or something I got years ago, right? Just I always keep styrofoam because it's so handy and it's, you know, it's not like it's uh, biodegradable, so you might as well reuse it somehow. So I've noticed just being out here, you put your hand on the window, it's cold to the touch. You put your hand on the window sill, it's cold to the touch. That is to say, it's colder than the air in the room. So I'm in a heated house right now, it's about 20 degrees Celsius, 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take, right? But this window is probably more like on the, on the inside. The outside right now, the temperature is what? All right, so it's eight degrees Celsius outside. It's 20 degrees Celsius inside. The window, if I touch it, it's definitely cold to the touch. So let's say the window is 11 degrees Celsius or 15 degrees Celsius, right? It's colder than the actual temperature indoors, right? Because it doesn't have perfect insulation, right? Your walls have all this insulation. My walls are six inches thick, uh, 15 centimeters thick, and they're what they call R R40, I think, insulated walls, really good insulation. This window is not R4, or yeah, this is not R40, right? <laughs> Similarly, there's cracks around your window and they're supposed to be insulated and all that sort of stuff, but it's always imperfect. If you have one of those devices that can measure heat loss throughout a house, you're gonna find that the windowsill is colder than the wall, right? Um, because the, ins the, the way the insulation works is just less perfect on a windowsill as it is where the wall is. So the windowsill is cold. So the solution is to insulate your seedling tray from the window and from the uh, window cell. So you have it back. Notice I have the, 
I have the transplant tray back about an inch from the window. I've got this insulation between the transplant tray and the window, and I've got insulation between the transplant plate tray and the sill. Um, you can also just use a wool sock <laughs> or cardboard or anything with uh, insulative property. Wool is a great one because, you know, it's a great thing to do wear when you're cold, right? It keeps you warm. Uh, it's a great insulator, wool, right? But anything that insulates, anything's going to be better than just having it on the sill. By using that approach, the effect you get is that when it starts becoming sunny, the soil that the transplants are in is not as cold as it would be otherwise, right? Because it is not in contact with the window sill. It's insulated from the window to some extent. It's back an inch from the window, right? Um, so the soil isn't as cold when the, actually the sun just, it's like someone just turned up the sun down. I don't know if you can tell, but it's way sunnier now, right? It's just peeking through the clouds. It'll be, <laughs> it'll be dark again pretty soon. That's all I see in the sky is clouds. Um, Anyway, when it does get sunny, the soil warms up faster, right? So basically when the seeds, when the seedlings are on, the soil's on. When the seedlings are off, the soil's off. <laughs> you can think about it that way, right? Uh, so the soil warms when the sun's on the soil and it warms when the sun's on the leaves. So the soil is warm when the plants are receiving the sunlight which means it's getting the ideal conditions for growth. It's not getting mixed up or confused where one part of the plant is saying, hey, it's, it's, there's an, one part of the plant is saying, hey, it's time to grow. And the other part of the plant is saying, wait a minute, there isn't enough light here, right? This way you've got your light and your heat coordinated and it's cheap. <laughs> I just use garbage for this or an old sock, right? And you don't have the risk of forgetting because of life being busy uh, having your seedlings up with your heating pad underneath your seedlings and everything just growing out of whack and not working properly. And I'm sure there's going to be lots of people who say, I use heating, I use, I use, I use, I use. look, there's a thousand ways to do everything. I'm just saying this is the way I've adapted advice from experts to get the best results while at the same time making it really easy on myself. This is completely passive. Right? It's basically running on sun. Um, and all I had to do was cut some garbage, <laughs> stick it between the window and the transplant tray. So I hope you found that interesting. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. And until next time, get out there, get at it. Have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you want to help support everything I'm doing here, go to Vessies.com to buy whatever you need for your garden this year. And use my coupon code GAVS23 to get free shipping as long as there's a pack of seeds in the order and there's no oversized items in the order. Check out the description box of this video for details. You can buy everything you need from Vessies. They have seeds, fruit bushes and trees, soil amendments, pest solutions, tools, clothing and lots of other stuff too. So yeah, if you want to help support everything I'm doing here and they sell something you need, buy it from them using my coupon code and happy gardening.